<laughs> we know now. I have tried to get a hold of Donald. Uh, he's with his doctors. Uh, they apparently he's doing well. I plan on talking to them shortly. I hope when I get back to the uh, telephone. Look, there's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. It's sick. It's one of the reasons why we have to unite this country. We cannot allow for this to be happening. We cannot be like this. We cannot condone this. And so and I want to thank the Secret Service and all the agencies, including the state agencies, that have been engaged in making sure that the people who and we have more detail to come relative to other injured, other people maybe injured in the audience. I don't have all that detail. We'll make that available to you. I may be able to come back a little later tonight, but we'll put out a statement if we don't, if I'm not able to get before, if it's not convenient for you all. But the bottom line is. The, the Trump rally was a rally that he should have been able to can be conducted peacefully and without any problem. But the idea, the idea that there's political violence or violence in America like this is just unheard of. It's just not appropriate. And we, everybody, everybody must condemn it. Everybody. I'll keep you informed. And if I am able to speak to, the, to Donald, I'll, I'll let you know that as well. But so far, it appears he's doing well. Number one. Number two, that they're thoroughly investigating what happened to anyone else in the audience. I have, we have some reports, but not final reports. And every agency in the federal government, I'll be, and I'm going back to, to my phone to speak with the federal agencies that are being put together again to give me an updated briefing. Has anything happened? They learned any more in the last couple hours. So thank you very much, and I hope I get to speak to them tonight, and I'll get to, back to you if I do, okay?